So I've got Jennifer here from Dallas, and I'm just going to take a quick look, see, see what I get for her, who's coming around her. I think she's open to whatever information is here. Actually, I feel a man first off. There's okay. a man standing here. Did you lose a grandfather? Yeah. He feels like he's got quite the personality. <laughs> yeah. He was kind of like, I don't know what his sense of humor was like, but it's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is this your mother's father? Um, I, actually, both my grandfathers died, so I'm not sure. Um, it would probably be my dad's father, I would think. Okay, but the, if it's your dad's father, did he work with the land? Did he work with soil at all, or he knew how to plant things? Um, not really. He was more of a construction guy. Well, oh, he knew how to work with his hands. Oh, yes, definitely. It's almost like I even see him working with soil, like he's building. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. He did a lot of that. But um, is Dad still with us? Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. But this grandpa's, did he used to smoke? Yes. Because I can smell cigarette smoke. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, but anyway, I think this is your mom coming forward. Because you put a notation in the thing that you wanted to talk to your mom, but I wanted to make yeah. sure by getting your grandpa and you acknowledging these things, I'm able to tell you that I can really get your mom. Whew. Okay. How old was she when she crossed? 72. But she was sick? Uh, no, not really. She fell and broke her hip. She was and in pain. Was yeah, she was in pain and I feel like it's like when she left, she was shocked she was left, but also she was glad it was over. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, maybe, yeah. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful there. Okay. It's beautiful there. But she's sad. They don't tend to get sad, which is weird that she's coming towards almost like lost time or she didn't, she didn't give you the love you deserved. Understand that it's like she was raised in different times, yeah, yeah. But she's think she's thanking you, so you must think of her or something, right? Yeah, I think of her a lot. And also, yeah. are you helping with dad? Oh, yes, I help with my dad because it's like, thank you. But were they still married? No, I was gonna say it doesn't seem oh, like God. they were married, but she's like. She's thanking you for helping with your dad. So she cares about what happens to him. Yeah, she does. Did, may I ask you this? Did you get along better with with your dad than you did your mom? Um, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Especially as an adult, yeah. Because your mom can be kind of judgmental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's a turn off to you. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, she still went too soon. Was she with so somebody good. else? Was she married to somebody else? No, she never remarried. It's like when she died, I felt like she was missing somebody in a romantic sense. I wonder if she still was crushing on your dad. Oh, I don't think so. My sister and I suspected someone. Okay, because it feels like... Sure. No, and she wasn't going to let you guys know. Yeah. In a way, she went out the way she wanted. Does that make sense? This break in the hip was not something she planned for. Was it complications oh, no. or something that added to all this? Something else came up in the hospital with her blood, uh, like she was losing blood, and then her, her she had put a hole in her colon. It was oh, my all God. All kinds it, of stuff happened. Because when, when I touched bases with her, I felt like, ugh, like, oh, God, get me out of here. Yeah. Like yeah. she didn't like being, she didn't like being sick. <laughs> yeah. 
didn't. Yeah, so, um, and she's sorry about being judgy. She wants, she wants you to say hello to your sister. Did, okay. did someone have a son or does someone have a son? Yes, my sister and I both have sons. Because it's like, does she love those kids? Or did yes. she even get to meet them? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, she did. Because it feels like she was really happy with those sons. She might have treated them better than she treated you girls. <laughs> yeah, she definitely treated her grandkids better than us. <laughs> That's what she's saying. She's sorry about that. But this judgmental thing, this is weird. She just feels like she was always sizing people up. I don't know if things were bad when she was young that she always felt that she needed control. She she feels like she could be kind of judgmental and controlling. Does that make sense? A little bit, yeah. I, I feel like as she was younger with my dad, she didn't feel like she had enough control. Oh, maybe that's you know? it. Yeah, because she, she... I know this sounds weird, because I know her, her dad and her sometimes, it didn't work out. It, okay. it Energetically, it was good that it was over. But yeah. uh, there's a love she still has for him. And that's so weird yeah. that she was thanking you for looking out for him. I can understand that. You know, they still both went to the to family gatherings. They still went together. Okay. You know, they just weren't together anymore. <laughs> so your dad's not doing so good, huh? He's doing okay. He's got a little bit of dementia. That's what this she's talking good. about. That's that's yeah. hard on him because he. It's yeah. hard for you guys to see him go like that. He still has some yeah. years to go, but energetically, it felt like she was saying. I was feeling like dementia kind of energy. It's not Alzheimer's, dementia. Right. Yeah, definitely. But you guys got it handled. Yeah. Well, my mother was afraid she wasn't ready to go. But she was in so much agony. This I can tell you because this is the first thing she told me. When she popped out of her body, it's like, thank you. So it mm -hmm. feels like she was frightened, of course of the unknowns mm -hmm. and it was definitely too soon but mm -hmm. there was a bunch of stuff that must have happened to her because i felt like she struggled or she suffered oh yeah she had those surgeries and and then yeah. she was like when she popped out of her body she wants to tell you it was like it was it's beautiful it's surreal it's better than she thought it would be yeah but then she had to go through everything she ever did that might have affected somebody else. And that was tough. Mm -hmm. But she's not that bad of a person. Yeah. Not like she was out beating her kids on Tuesday morning, you know. <laughs> no. So. Yeah. And I feel some comfort in some food she used to make. I don't know why she's showing me this. Hmm. There, there was something you girls might have liked when, or maybe the grandsons. I see her making a dish. She baked a lot. She wasn't a great cook. Maybe it's baking because <laughs> I, I see her cooking and I see it's like it, people are going, mmm, she enjoyed so making. She, she made fudge a lot and she actually won a prize at the state fair. Okay, that's why she's telling me this because that was her big deal. <laughs> yes, that was her big deal. Linda, definitely. I'm the one that made the best fudge. <laughs> 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 I'm known around these here parts. Yes, she is. So, anyway, she's telling me to tell you she loves you. Okay. Thanks. And she thinks of you and she's around you guys. All you have to do is think of her and she'll be there. It's like magic. And she's been gone long enough. She's getting stronger energetically. Uh -huh. She's what they call ascending. She's going through the levels of consciousness and spirituality that her vibration's getting higher. And by the way... She wants me to point out to you that she's back in her old body when she was young and quite gorgeous. <laughs> and quite gorgeous. She's back she to her old self. Yeah. Was. And it's it's fun. There's another woman standing next to her who feels... Okay. Did she have a sister that crossed or a good friend? Um, no, she had a sister, but she still here. Yeah, she had a I see her laughing and talking to this girl like she knew her when she was young. Huh, maybe maybe from when she was younger than when she had me. Yeah, it's it's she's young and this girl feels like she died around the same times, but maybe they lost touch but they were so happy to see each other and they're laughing and they're talking. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay. okay, girlfriend, well thank you. Thank you for letting me do this. 
Thank you so much for doing it, Linda. Okay, really girlfriend. Good. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm with Stacy, who's in New York City. And uh, Stacy, just give mm -hmm. me your month and day, month and day of birth. Uh, three, six. Okay. So let's check it out. Let's see who I can pick up with you. Have I read for you before? Uh, no, okay. unfortunately not. Okay. You sound familiar to me. I was asking you about Michael Jackson a while ago. Oh, okay. It seems familiar. I'm not doing Michael Jackson right now, but I might do him down the road. Something energetic, energetically is off with him. So I don't hmm. know if he's in recovery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard yeah. to connect with him. Unlike other deceased I'm... famous people. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So, um... There's a woman here who really loved you. She's saying hello to you. She feels kind of sweet. Is this a grandmother, mother, or grandmother? I I have a great grandmother. I have a couple of grandmothers who passed away, so I don't know. She's saying you take after her. They like to take, do that. I don't know if your looks take after her or what. I don't know. She feels like she has light hair. It could be my great grandmother. And she's she's waving hello to you. How old are you about? I'm uh, fifty-five. Oh, jeez, girl, you sound like you're twenty-two. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Stacy. And there's a man here too. Did you lose your dad? I did. Okay. Because he's like coming in wanting to... Well, first of all, he's also apologizing. Yeah. So I don't know if he was... He said he wasn't a great dad. That's what he's telling me. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Because, you know, you could have said, No, my, my daddy was great. No, he comes in kind of like... How they come to me sometimes when they know they weren't that great with their hat in their hand, so to speak, is when they know they didn't step up to the plate. How old was he when he crossed? Um, I think about 41. Yeah, he was young. Yeah. Did he do this to himself? Yes. He said, I did it to myself. Did he commit suicide? Yeah. 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 He just said, I did it to myself. And it kind of messed up the whole... He had trouble from the beginning, and he's very sorry. That's why I picked you, because your dad wanted to come through. I thought it was a grandparent, but this woman is being very kind towards you. I think she's been looking after you since you were wee. What side is this great grandmother on? Is she on dad's side or mom's side? Mother's side. Okay. But this man feels like he had some issues. Maybe yeah. even, even personality issues, like anger or something? Yeah. How old were you when he crossed? Eleven. But it stuck with you. Well, yeah, he was pretty abusive, to be quite frank. Yeah, he feels angry. He feels like he knew he did wrong. He feels like he the demons were talking in his head. Yes, exactly. And he couldn't take it anymore, so he just said he was out of here. Mm -hmm. In a way, I hate to say it, as sad as it was he was gone, it was also a relief. Yeah, I'm glad, actually. So, um, have he, has he come to you in a dream or anything? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't want him to. Yeah, well, he, it's interesting. He had to come through now today to tell you he's very sorry. Um, you know, he totally screwed up. But in a way, I know this sounds crazy, but you picked this life and you picked him as your father. But he just didn't step up to the plate. He blew it. He doesn't blame me for not wanting to have anything to do with him. You're pretty healthy considering who your father was. You uh, have, you yeah, ha we all got very lucky, actually. Yeah, because your energy, energetically, you, you feel like you're dynamic. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, but you're <laughs> not... I have my mom. I'm yeah, sorry? Yeah, because I wish that your mom is a really good person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because energetically, you have kind of a bright light around you, which I see sometimes with people I read. 
I can see the energy. And he's almost like ashamed because I know in spite of him, you became a good person. Mm -hmm. But I don't see you thinking of committing suicide. No. Mm -mm. Did somebody lose a child? Did you lose a, a sibling or did someone lose a child? Oh, not, no, no, not that I know of. I wonder if that great-grandmother lost a child. I can ask my mom. Feels like somebody's over there that lost a child too soon. It feels like a boy. Was the, was his mother alive when he died, your dad? Yes. Okay, that's it. So even though he oh. he wasn't very good, she was feeling sad that she lost him. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Because yeah. he was still, he never quite grew up, my friend. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I needed to read you. That's why I looked at your name and picked you because it's energetically, it was your father that wanted to come through. Okay, so. that's surprising. That's the last person I expected. Actually. I know. Well, that's what happens when I do readings. Sometimes it'll be the people will say, what? or they'll even say, no, I, ne I didn't want to hear from him. And then they have something to say that even if at the moment you're not quite sure you're happy with it, at the end, it actually helps his soul because he mm -hmm. really had to look at what he did. And it took a lot of years to get in earth years for him to get through that. He's still on the other side. He didn't take another body. Okay. Because he lived by causing fear on others. Really? Okay. Yeah. He liked to be in control. But was he a, was he a drunk or a drug addict or something? Yeah. Yeah, because it's something like the demons was on him. You know, it's like he, he went in and out of uh, consciousness. He wasn't a good person and he couldn't get out of it. And he that's his way of getting out of it and getting him to shut up was suicide. So. Yeah. He was dangerous. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like uh, like a lot of people were relieved that he was gone. And that's kind of sad. Nobody really mourned well, I, him. I don't, I don't know if we would have survived if he had survived, to be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, he wants to... He he really wants to apologize to you. And it, it's okay if you, you can't go there right now. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Thanks for letting me do this quick... This, All right, thank this you. This quick read. Okay, baby, bye.